Opera Schools is this great opportunity that uh, for school children, the primary school age, to come and see an opera in their own school. So we take an opera and we do a 45 minute version of it in English and uh, perform it in one of their school halls or in a classroom and uh, they get to see something that they, most of them probably never seen before. Well, I try and think about what uh, kids are interested in, so try and find something to connect the story to them, especially if there's something that's true of my family, is that we all really love fish and chips. Go, hey, I know all about fish and chips, and that helps them kind yeah. of get into the story a bit more. Mm -hmm. And also so that the characters, rather than being these uh, foreign uh, characters from, uh, from Italy, they're people that they could possibly, like they would see in the street, or yeah. um, that they would know already. Mm -hmm. David, how did you go about adapting the music uh, for opera in schools? Well, with this piece it's actually quite straightforward because it's, the storyline is quite simple. So all we really needed to do was to take out all the big chorus numbers and just shorten all the numbers and it, the story actually flows quite easily. They might never have heard of opera before, experienced opera before, and quite often we'll get something where people go, where kids will go, oh, I thought I was going to really hate that. I thought it was going to be, you know, awful because I, you know, because they don't know it. And then the experience they have afterwards is they go, actually, I could understand the story. The characters were really funny, and you were in my school, and that was a really cool thing. And so that makes it um, something. Then they're more likely to come and see something in a, in a big theatre, and I think that's why it's been so successful. Mm. Also, in each place, we also use one of their teachers too, which is always a big highlight for the kids to mm. see their teachers up on stage um, being part of the show. I think it was quite inspiring for younger kids as well because we didn't have many opera singers come to Manurio. Yeah, uh, it was a first time experience for me. Uh, it was amazing. I didn't know that um, something could sing like that. Yeah, it's very inspiring that we know that we can do that when we're older. It was really cool to see opera singers at our school. Something special. Same thing about it. Uh, same thing happened yesterday when I was at Dilworth, which is obviously uh, my old high school, and so that was, yeah, it's just a great feeling to be performing there and seeing how happy they are to see you. And I guess it puts a smile on on my face and makes me really want to go and give it my best show. And when, when the kids are that excited, so yeah. Thousands of New Zealand children each year have their eyes and ears open to opera, but more than that, they have the opportunity to meet their national opera company on their doorstep. We surprise them. We amuse them, we entertain them. And they learn firsthand and from an early age that opera is for all.